नमस्ते टू एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टूडे आई विल डेली वार लेक्चर ऑन एनालिटिकल डिनेमिक्स और क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स चैप्टर कॉन्स्ट्रेंट मोशन लेक्चर नंबर फाइव इन व्हिच आई विल डेराइव लैगरेंजेज इक्वेशंस ऑफ मोशन ऑफ फर्स्ट काइंड before deriving the lagrange's equations of motion of first kind i would like to give you some basic which will help to understand the theorem basic is the concept of ideal constraints those constraints are called ideal if the sum of the virtual works done by their reaction is zero now we will derive the general equation of a dynamical system and lagrange's equations of motion of first kind let a dynamical system consists n particles with position vectors r mu under bracket x mu y mu z mu r mu be the position vector of mu th particle and its components are x mu y mu and z mu accelerations w mu vector components are x mu double dot y mu double dot z mu double dot external applied forces f mu vector components are f mu x f mu y f mu z and reaction forces of constraints acting on mu th particle be r mu vector components are r mu x r mu y r mu z these components are along x y and z directions where mu equal to 1 2 dot 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 n since number of particles be n we may write the equation of motions as follow since effective force equal to external applied force plus reaction force we may write this mathematically a mu w mu equal to f mu plus r mu mu equal to 1 2 dot 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 n here this is effective force this is external applied force and this is reaction force of constraints acting on mu th particle where a mu is the mass of the mu th particle if delta r mu vector be the virtual displacement then virtual work done by these forces will be sigma mu equal to 1 to n a mu w mu dot del r mu this is force multiply displacement is the work done similarly in right side f mu plus r mu dot delta r mu this is equation 2 let constraints are ideal then the virtual work done by the reaction forces will be zero implies that sigma mu equal to 1 to n r mu dot delta r mu equal to 0 this is equation 3 using this value in 2 we get only remains this term and this term this term becomes 0 so equation 2 reduces to sigma mu equal to 1 to n f mu vector minus a mu W mu vector dot del r mu equal to zero. This is equation four. 
this equation is called the general equation of dynamical system which shows that the sum of virtual works done by the external applied forces is equal to the sum of the virtual works done by effective forces. Let the dynamical system be subjected to d number of finite or geometric constants and g number of differential constants respectively as follow f alpha t r mu equal to 0 this is a function of t and r mu vector r mu vector be the position vector of mu -th particle and t be the time here value of alpha is 1 2 dot 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 d so from this equation we get d number of equations these equations are equations for d number of finite or geometric constants applied to the dynamical system and phi beta is a function of t r mu vector r mu dot vector equal to 0. Here r mu dot means d r mu by dt derivative. So this equation represents the equation for differential constants here beta equal to 1, 2, dot, 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 g. So from this equation, we get g number of equations for differential constraints. Let me consider only those differential constraints where r mu dot vector r involved linearly. Linearly means degree 1. Means power of r mu dot equal to 1 that is derivative of degree 1 so the equation 6 this equation may be written as sigma mu equal to 1 to n l mu beta r mu dot plus d beta equal to 0 beta equal to 1 2 dot 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 g here r mu vector has only one degree that is power one so this equation represents a linear differential equation and this equation also represents the equations for differential constraints here in place of r mu dot we write d r mu by dt here l mu beta and d beta are functions of vector r mu and t now differentiating both sides of phi with respect to t here we see that r mu vector means mu equal to 1 2 dot 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 n n number of particles so for each particle we get corresponding position vectors so we get for each particle different position vectors r1 vector r2 vector r3 vector dot 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 rn vector so during differentiation of this function with respect to t firstly we get partial derivative of f alpha with respect to r1 vector then dr1 by dt plus partial derivative of f alpha with respect to r2 vector then dr2 by dt plus dot 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 partial derivative of f alpha with respect to rn vector drn by dt then we differentiate partially this f alpha with respect to t 
del f alpha by del t dt by dt and this equal to 0. Here we see that 1 1 here 2 2 here n n. So we may write this in sigma form. Here sigma mu equal to 1 to n partial derivative of f alpha with respect to r mu dr mu by dt. If we put the value of mu 1 then we will get the first term. If we put the value mu 2 we get the second term and in this way we get nth term. And here dt by dt is 1 so remains only partial derivative of f alpha with respect to t. This is equal to 0. This is number 8 equation multiplying 7 here by dt term wise and also multiplying 8 by dt term wise means we multiply by dt to each term and then we add we get the following equations sigma mu equal to 1 to n l mu beta dr mu plus d beta dt equal to 0 if we multiply this by dt here remains only dr mu and here will be dt this is equation 9 and multiplying equation 8 term wise by dt if we multiply here dt here remains only dr mu and here dt and this is equation 10 here dr mu be the possible displacement for the muth particle since there are many possible displacements at a given instant t so we take two system of possible displacement at one and same instant of time t and for one and the same configuration of the system dr mu vector and dr mu prime vector respectively this possible displacement dr mu vector is for one and same instant of time t and dr mu prime vector is the possible displacement for one and the same configuration of the system both dr mu and dr mu prime satisfy the equations 9 and 10 let delta r mu vector equal to dr mu prime minus dr mu this is called virtual displacement replacing dr mu vector by dr mu prime vector in 9 here here we write dr mu prime we get equation 12 now subtracting 9 from 12 we get this equation and since from 11 this value is delta r mu here using 11 because this term be same so during subtraction this term will be cancelled and we will get equation number 13 similarly replacing dr mu by dr mu prime in 10 and then subtracting the equation 10 from the new equation we get similar to this sigma mu equal to 1 to n 
partial derivative of f alpha with respect to r mu delta r mu vector equal to 0 alpha equal to 1 2 dot 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 d this is equation number 14 here we see that alpha equal to 1 2 comma dot 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 d so from 14 we get the number of equations multiplying both sides of 14 by lambda alpha and then adding each equations formed by this equation we get here sigma mu equal to 1 to n here we have added all equations after multiplying lambda alpha and we get equation 15 in equation 13 here beta beta equal to 1 to, to dot dot g so we get here g number of equations and multiplying equations by gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma 3 dot 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 gamma g respectively and then adding these equations the equation 16 is formed now adding 15 and 16 and then subtracting from equation theory equation theory was the equation for virtual work done by the reaction forces for constraints and we get equation number 17 since we have in number of particles and each particle may have at most three degrees of freedom so n particles may have at most three multiply n that is three n number of freedoms here we have d number of geometrical constants and g number of differential constants therefore total number of constants equal to d plus g total at most degrees of freedom be 3 n and here total number of constants equal to d plus g so total number of degrees of freedom equal to 3 n minus under bracket d plus g and we know that number of degrees of freedom means number of generalized coordinates we may take 3 n minus d plus g number of independent coordinates these generalized coordinates are independent coordinates to represent the system let us denote the corresponding displacement of these independent coordinates b delta q i i equal to 1 2 3 dot 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 3 n minus d plus g means this 3 n minus d minus g here number of independent displacements number of independent coordinates means number of independent displacements delta qi and the corresponding displacements by delta qj j equal to 3n minus d minus g plus 1 comma 3n minus d minus g plus 2 dot 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 3n means d plus g number of dependent coordinates equation 17 is the equation in polar form so we may write this in cartesian form as follow sigma mu equal to 1 to n r mu x minus sigma alpha equal to 1 to d lambda alpha del 
एफ अल्फा बाय डेल एक्स म्यू पर्सियल डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एफ अल्फा विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स म्यू माइनस सिग्मा बीटा इक्वल टू वन टू जी गामा बीटा एल म्यू एक्स बीटा ब्रैकेट क्लोज डेल्टा एक्स म्यू प्लस सिमिलरली इन वाई फॉर्म म्यू इक्वल टू वन टू एन आर म्यू वाई माइनस सिग्मा अल्फा इक्वल टू वन टू डी लैमडा अल्फा पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एफ अल्फा विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वाई म्यू माइनस सिग्मा बीटा इक्वल टू वन टू जी गामा बीटा हियर एल म्यू वाई बीटा ब्रैकेट क्लोज डेल्टा वाई म्यू प्लस इन जेड कोऑर्डिनेट सिग्मा म्यू इक्वल टू वन टू एन ब्रैकेट आर म्यू जेड माइनस सिग्मा अल्फा इक्वल टू वन टू डी लैमडा अल्फा पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एफ अल्फा विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू जेड म्यू माइनस सिग्मा बीटा इक्वल टू वन टू जी गामा बीटा एल म्यू जेड बीटा ब्रैकेट क्लोज डेल्टा जेड म्यू इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर एटीन हियर वी सी दैट इन एटीन कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू एक्स वी गेट एन टर्म्स कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू वाई एन टर्म्स कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू जेड एन टर्म्स मीन्स थ्री एन नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स हियर कॉफिशियंट्स आर डेल्टा एक्स म्यू डेल्टा वाई म्यू डेल्टा जेड म्यू नंबर ऑफ दीज कॉफिशियंट्स विल बी एन म्यूक्वल टू वन टू एन हियर ऑल्सो एन हियर ऑल्सो एन सो दीज आर डिसप्लेसमेंट्स कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू एक्स वाई एंड जेड कॉर्डिनेट्स सो नंबर ऑफ डिसप्लेसमेंट्स बी हियर थ्री एन बट हियर वी हैव एज्यूम दैट दीज डिसप्लेसमेंट डी प्लस जी डिसप्लेसमेंट आर कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू डिपेंडेंट कॉर्डिनेट्स सो फॉर द प्रोपर्टी ऑफ डिपेंडेंट बाय सुटेबल चॉइस ऑफ देयर कॉफिशियंट्स लैमडा अल्फा एंड गामा बीटा सम ऑफ देयर टर्म्स विल बी जीरो एंड द रिमेनिंग टर्म्स बींग कॉफिशियंट ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट वर्चुअल डिस्प्लेसमेंट डेल्टा क्यू आई आई इक्वल टू वन टू डॉट 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 थ्री एन माइनस डी माइनस जी सो देयर कॉफिशियंट विल बी जीरो ऑटोमेटिकली हेन्स From equation seventeen, we get R mu vector equal to sigma alpha equal to one to d lambda alpha partial derivative of f alpha with respect to R mu vector plus sigma beta equal to one to g gamma beta gamma beta l mu beta. This is number nineteen. Here, reaction vector is expressed in terms of constraints. Putting this value in one, we get a mu w mu vector means acceleration equal to f mu vector means. Applied force, external applied force, plus in place of R mu, we write this. This is the equation number twenty. This equation is known as Lagrange's equations of motions of first kind. Thank you.
Thanks for watching my video. If you are satisfied with my presentation and contents, then please click on like button and do subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.